pretty bad. I mean, lightning pretty close to the boat. And all the other charges are canceled, and we're the last one. We decided to, to bag it for another day and come back when they can actually enjoy themselves instead of getting beat up. I do think I got everything. Pretty sure, anyways. We have, uh, we have our beer. We have our beer. We got firewood. We got our tents. We got our easy ups. We got our camp chairs. We got our oh, we got our camp stove. We got spring water for the sissies in the group. We're gonna be living out in a field with a couple of hippies. It's the last hurrah before salmon season gets kicking. Well, we hadn't even got the rod set when the first dipsy we put out fired. Double, double. Look at that beast. There's one. There's two in the cooler. Deeper or shallower, fighting a fish. Sometimes you'd be getting them in 70 feet of water in the morning and 90 feet of water in the afternoon. If you got a wind blowing, warms it up, they slide out. So changing all the time here. Oh, baby! How many you got? Uh, let me see here. Now let's change that outside rigger, I guess. Ah, I can't do that. <laughs> There's certain ones I can't take off. When the fish bite, they're the ones they bite, you know? Some of them I just can't take off. You know, it's been just a handful of, of different items that are taking the fish every day. It's just a matter of moving them around at the right depth, the right speed, you know, the right direction. So, just gotta keep grinding it out here and see if we can get it going. Right. He's still there. <laughs> That's what's called a buzzer beater, guys. Just like in a game, when you're right down, there's less than a minute on the clock. And hey, there's still a couple lines in the water. We could do the double buzzer beater, you never know. $14.99 for the chip. I won't say nothing about the drag. Then you got fluorocarbon leader. Then you've got a $12.99 fly. Just to lose the fish sucks is what worry about that more than the chip. That's one quarter of my tip. Just saying. <laughs> We're about 12 minutes into it. We got oh about 150 left, 150 feet left. We're just uh let's figure out where these fish are and the temperature is and then we Try to move our rigs around until they, they get popping. I've only been on the salmon fishing tour for about 23 years now. <laughs> I think this is uh, number 866. 67. 67? Yep. My boy Rick says 67, it's 67. Hey, good job, bro. You can't get them all. It's for the one that got away. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Woo! Congratulations. Nicely done. It's all you, man. Throw them in the Yukon. Yukon cooler. Fish numbers are starting out like it did last year. If that, if that holds right straight through the whole season, then we'll, we'll have another good season. This river is, uh, takes, a, takes its toll on all the above. What the river doesn't take the fish to, you know? As you can see, we got a lot of stuff in here. We want to sell it, and uh, we're ready for everybody to show up. Gusta. Gusta. Dinero. Dinero. She's the boss. But I say go. If you want to be married to me, I do what I say. Everybody gets your balls busted around here. <laughs> 25 years to be married. In April. So 25 years, you know, kind of know each other a little bit. Just dropped the boat in, provided by a Dodge Ram from Priscilla Automall Adams. Thank you guys for sponsoring the show. We are sitting here with our frog togs, help keep us dry, looking at some thunderstorms tonight. We're in the boots just because they're comfy. And we're gonna fill that igloo cooler behind me, the Yukon it's called, with some big old Samoon. Stay tuned. It's a beautiful night, man. There ain't a wave out here, it's gorgeous. It should be good, they're jumping around in, out here and in there, so. Zayel, how are ya? Como stop? <laughs> Anyways, we're heading out to the mouth of the river, see if we can do some night fishing here. Oh, 
my god! No! There's why he was being so difficult. Look at the size of that one. Oh my! Right. <laughs> Right in the corner of the mouth. This is how I like them. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thanks, Canada! Put your hand on my forearm. Tail smack. There you go. That's your salmon stick, brother. Good one. All right. It is hot, boys. This is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> oh, it's all clean down here. Oh, yeah. We're going to throw this bad boy on our Igloo Yukon cooler. <laughs> Dang it. I would say it's about 18 pounds or so. <sighs> Two things about these drift boats. One, when you hit a rock, it makes a lot of noise and it scares the bejesus out of you, but they're safe. The only time you can get in trouble in a drift boat is if you hit a stationary object like that center pylon sideways. Yeah, you don't want to hit those. No. That's what you call a severe obstruction. <laughs> the, other, the other rule is overhanging tree limbs, there's a lot of them. Whatever you do, don't put your hands up to push a branch out of the way because they're loaded with hooks. And I got no brakes. So you get hooked, it makes it an, an ugly wound. This is a trophy fish. We have a chance to chase it. And keep reeling in line as we drift. Because he's going to stop and take a break, and then you're going to do what you're doing now. Game line like the devil. Your rod tip down low. There you go. He's going up river, up river, up river, up river. He's just not reeling fast enough. Keep up, keep up. Game over. Oh. I mean, we're known for big fish up here, but we're also known for slippery rocks. So. Exactly. This is uh, this has been very informative. So this is what you got to cut through the barnacles for you. Very good. Fish one, Captain Phil zero. We're out here to show that salmon don't want to bite. They don't feed, but they do bite. They bite out of the air. Oh, yes. Put something in their face, pisses them off, fish out. Keep it on, keep on them. Just keep it tight. There you go. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen a salmon hit a quag in a river like this. First time. Nice. Right back in, baby. So basically, we can sit on anchor. We haven't got a roll for them. This is one of the, just the premier snagging holes. And we're making them bite in this hole. Right now, we got so many in front of us, we're just going to see what happens. <laughs> hey, there's... Uh... Like I said, the secret's wadded up and the, the uh, compact is wadded up when you get through here because you're still dropping them. And we're in the middle of salmon season right now, and instead of taking clients, I took September 24th off for my boy's birthday. Yeah, buddy! He's five today. Yeah! Yeah, buddy boy! <laughs> yeah, I'm so strong! Nobody just gets one more fish! Fish on. Fish on, man.